I feel very, I felt very good. I, I got a tough fight. My opponent is so tough. Jamal is so tough. I was looking for for knockout all the time, but he, he put it. He put, he put me on the ground sometimes and I tried to survive, to defend myself. But at the end, I can got a good punch. I can hit a good punch and I, I realized that he is no count and I'm, I'm, I'm finished with some kicks in, the, in his body. I'm sorry? Yeah, a little bit. My corner told me that I was losing because at the end of the first round, at the end of the second round, the, my opponent is on, on top and I'm on, on the bottom. So I think I was losing the fight. So for that reason, I'm, until the end, I, lost, I was looking for for knockout. And did, did, you, did it surprise you that he was able to take you down? Was he stronger than you expected? Yeah, I was. I, I, I knew that he was so tough on the ground, but he, he pressured me a little bit more than I was, I was thinking that he, he's supposed to do. And I took, some, I took some shot to him. I hit him a little bit, but he can absorb my techniques, my punts and my kicks. And he had a chance to put me on the ground sometimes. But actually, I always put my mind that I was maybe I was winning, I was losing the fight, but I not lost the fight. But I not lost the fight. Until the end, I put in my mind that I can, I can win the fight in, at in any moment. Any moment, I can. I looking for all the time for take a good hit, take a good punch or kicks, and I can put his in the in the bad situation. Were you happy with your performance? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, actually I have to work a little bit more on the ground and then take it down defense. But in the stand up, I, I'm, I'm happy with my performance for sure. Did you feel that you had hurt him throughout the fight? Because I, I think you caught him with an up kick at one point. Um, you were working some shots to the body. Did you feel that maybe the ending was uh, maybe an accumulation of a lot of your strength? Yeah, yeah, I realized that. At the beginning, he was so strong. But in the middle of the fight, at the end of the fight, I realized that I, I shot some techniques and I felt that he, he, was, he was feeling some, some, some techniques from, my, from me. Obviously, he damaged you, got you cut over your right eye and whatnot. What did he feel like on top with his pressure? Was it overwhelming at all or were you pretty comfortable? No, very comfortable. I don't worry about that. No, I'm a fighter. And at the time, I don't worry about if I have a cut or not. I just try to keep my game, to keep my focus, and keep fighting like in my style. No, I don't worry about my cut. Looking at this fight and assessing your performance, what do you think you need to take away from this bout and improve upon the most? Yeah, I think I need to improve a little bit more, more take down defense and the ground groundwork for sure. No, but at the same time, I I'm proud of me because I fought almost three rounds and I, he got he got he, the guy. Took me some punch on the ground and I can survive. And I can at the end of the the, the fight I can I can knock him out. So I can I, I won the fight by taking you. So I'm so happy. At the same time I know I have to work a little bit more on the take it out and on the ground as well. What did your brother tell you about the fight? Yeah, he, he 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 was happy but he said even the stand up technique I was so how can I say, anxious to finish the fight. So I have to keep more calm and to, to get a good time and a good distance, you know? Because sometimes I took, I took a good shot, but following, I, what, I want to finish the fight at the moment, and the guy took me down. So I think I have to wait for the good moment and not, so, not to be so anxious to finish the fight. You know? I'm sorry. What's it, how is your brother taking the suspension? Yeah, um, he was because he's he he was he took some supplement that's not allowed no at by Uzada, but he now everything is good. He's gonna come back maybe September or October, and he's still training every day, and he he ex, he, he excited to come back as soon as possible. Has he 
Has he accepted what the, what the USADA has given? I mean, is, is, is it something that he's come to terms with, or does he still disagree with what they did? I think he disagreed, but everything is done. No, he, he got his suspension, so I think he has to think from here to the future, not the past. You know, because everything is done, he, he already got his, his suspensions. So I think he's not good if he thinking about, oh, the Uzada is wrong or not. Let's go, let's, let's look ahead. You know? let's, let's see what's the next step. And he's... He's training every day, my brother training every day. He focuses on our academy as well because we just opened our karate academy in Torrance, close, uh, Lomita, close to Torrance. So you have to look forward ahead, you know, you have to look in, to the front, not to the back. So let's see what's going to happen from now to the future. And do you, your brother, do you, do you teach karate to students? Yeah, for sure. Me and my brother, uh, we, we are teaching. The, our, for our students, no. We just opened two months ago, and we are very happy because the people appreciate our academy, and the people sign up. So it's a new, it's a new challenge for us to put our academy to growing up. No. Are you teaching karate or MMA? I teach machida karate. You no, know, the, the karate style that work for self defense and the real combat like MMA. No, actually, I'm mean, not a fighter, not a MMA fighter. Actually, I, I am a martial artist. You no, know? it's a little different because you you put our philosophy inside of the the, the techniques. We combine with the, our techniques. So not just punch and kicks. We put our karate philosophy inside of the cage, and it, this is make our karate is different as well because. It's very effective for a real, real combat and self-defense, but at the same time you put our philosophy inside of the cage and inside of our technique. Thank you. Thank you Sorry, so much. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much.